By now, most people have seen or heard about Dutch designer David Hacken's modular smartphone concept, Phone Blocks. Brought to the attention of the world through a viral YouTube video that's now racked up over 18 million hits. Phone Blocks has now moved on as an idea to a second phase partnering with Motorola and their project Aura, which aims to develop a free open hardware platform. According to their website, we want to do for hardware what the Android platform has done for software. But now that Phone Blocks is actually moving from the conceptual into becoming a reality, will it work? This isn't the first attempt to create modular hardware to give users variability. In the fall of 2010, a company called Bug Labs based in New York announced a partnership with Verizon set on developing a Linux-based wireless product innovation platform onto which you could snap interchangeable modules in order to assemble your own unique personalized gadgets. Unfortunately, it failed to strike a chord among mainstream tech consumers because of price and underwhelming abilities. But behind all the hype, the most probing question in my mind is, will this finally be the prototype for accelerating our future towards more sustainable technological developments? And, if this catches on, could it extend its reach into more systems based on efficient use of resources like cars or homes? Or imagine combining these ideas with 3D printing, the other amazing technology that has recently grasped media attention in the last couple years, evoking comparisons to Star Trek The Next Generation's Replicator. How dramatically would that change our world? It seems there may be a bright spot on the horizon for humanity if we can manage to steer ourselves in the direction of collaboration.